IDOC means intermediary document, which is responsible for taking data to SAP and from SAP to the other systems, which might be SAP system, which might be non-SAP system. For example, if data is coming from, let's say, any X system and it needs to get into SAP. So, there should be the data will come in different format, but SAP will accept only IDOCs. And in case SAP is sending data to another system, SAP will send IDOCs and then data will be converted into the destination format and then it will be out to that system. So, the data which comes into SAP is known as inbound IDOC and the data which goes out of SAP is known as outbound IDOC. So, we will see some and that there is a long configuration for this IDOCs which needs to be done as per the business requirement, but we will see some IDOCs in the system, how it looks like, what is the structure of IDOCs, what is the definition, what all contents are there in the IDOCs. So, the transaction code is WE02. We will see search some IDOC based on some dates. Let's say I am searching from 1st January. I execute this. This is how I can see the IDOCs. All these are IDOCs. See if I see there is some inbound IDOCs, some outbound IDOCs. First I will see some outbound IDOCs. Green means it is successful. I mean data is successfully passed and if it is red, it means data is failed. So, here it is a direction. It means outbox, status green light, process successfully, which is the partner system, what is the port, these are all the technical details and then we have data records. What data is contained in the IDOCs? So, you see data is currency, start date, document number, recipient number, so all the data are processed in the IDOC. You see we have different segments and under those segments we have different type of data. So let's say if there is some FI document coming up or let's say HR master data is coming up from one system to another system, so it will contain let's say employee number, his date of birth, his father's name, his profession, his address, that will be the part of different segments. And these are the status. One means it is generated successfully, then receiver exists, no filter, it means dispatched to the different destination location and then if it is successful, it does status 3, if it is failed, the status will be different. So, that that's how we, so this, this is the structure of IDOCs. We have different types of messages. IDOCs are basically used for transferring data from SAP or into SAP. It might be inbound, it might be outbound. Thank you.